I've decided to do um, a little tutorial on putting a Bitmoji banner um, for your classroom or for Google um, Forms. So let me show you how I do this. First thing, I want to get rid of these boxes because I'm not going to need them. Um, and then what I want to do is go ahead and um, hit File and I'm going to want to do um, page setup and what I want to do is make a custom page and the width that you need to be able to put it into um, Google as a banner would be 16.67 by 4.17. Okay, so these are what you need to put into your um, page setup to be able to create a banner. I'm going to hit apply. So now you've got what looks more like a banner that you would upload into um, Google Classroom or into Google Forms when you create like a test or a quiz or something like that. It just makes it a little bit, um, this is the what Google wants. So what you're going to do is we're going to do a Bitmoji. So what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and hit background and I'm going to um, choose an image. I'm going to go ahead and go to Google image search again and I want um, floor, wall, um, background. We'll just kind of see what it brings me. Um, so let's see here. I kind of like Let's look at that, what that looks like in there. Uh, I don't really like that, so let's choose a different image. Um, this is the one I've been doing, but let's see if I can find a different one that might look a little bit different. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see here. Maybe this one. Let's see what that one looks like. That one looks fine. Um, so what I want to then do is uh, go ahead and insert image and I want to search the web again and I'm now I'm going to start searching for my transparent um, couch. Remember you want to put transparent in there because you don't want a background. Um, if you want it to look more cartoony you could probably put in cartoon couch. That's kind of cool. Let's see what that looks like. I insert that. Um, I'm going to put it more over here. Again, I want to make sure all four feet are on the ground. I can resize it if I want it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. Um, let's see here. So let's go ahead and hit insert again, image, search the web. And I'm just going to continue to put things in here. So transparent. Um, bookshelf. Um, I'll go ahead and actually I want one that probably has some books on it already. Get rid of that one. Um, this one would be really nice to put in there if you wanted to do some links to some authors reading their books. Um, I can do another um, tutorial showing you how to do links on your slides if you're interested in that. Here's this one. Let's see what that looks like. Eh, I don't really like that. Maybe I'll throw this one in there, see what that one looks like. Uh, shrink it down a little bit. Just It shows like a little cart on wheels. <clears throat> Oops. 
I just want to make sure the wheels again are on the floor but I also kind of want to give it some distance so it kind of looks like it's um, against the wall. Um, I can kind of adjust this the same if I kind of want to make it look further back in the room or closer here if I want it to look um, closer to the front of the room. Um, I can go ahead and add a table if I want a table in there. You can see what a table looks like. That one might have a... okay. That one might look okay. If I want to change kind of like tilt things, I can just click and drag that dot at the top to tilt things. Um, I can. I always, when I'm resizing, I always come from the edge and resize because I don't want to distort a picture. Um, and kind of put that in there. If you're going to do like a sit down put emoji, I can only find the one that I think sits this way. If I want to flip the image to make it mirrored, I can do that as well. Um, I can mirror the image. Um, by, um, I'm trying to remember how to do that. Oh, it's going to flip it upside down. Mm hmm. Gonna rotate it. Um, anyways, uh, you can rotate them. I have to look for that button again. Um, you can go ahead and put text boxes in here um, and make them look like your smart board, your whiteboard, however you want. You just fill them in, white, black, uh, whatever color, uh, green if you want a chalkboard. And then you can um, type right into it. You can change your font to look more like your handwriting if you want that. I can say welcome to Miss, Mrs. Gessner class. Um, I can make this bigger. I can put links in here. Um, kind of make it look however I want to. I can put a beanbag chair in here. I want it to kind of look um, more like a reading corner, whatever I want to do. That one's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can find something that maybe looks. I can put a coffee mug. I can do um, I always have a coffee in my hand or on my table so I can throw that in here and I can resize it to sit on top of my table here. Um, I can go ahead and put in my Bitmoji character. This is usually my go-to one sitting on a couch of any sort. 
We can resize it, that looks a little bit small. Okay, so I can do that. Resize it a little bit. Make her sitting on the couch, be in the corner of the couch. Um, I always have my laptop on my lap as well, so I can go ahead and add that. This one kind of looks like my laptop. Resize it. Again, I always pull from the corners as to not um, as to not distort my image. Pull that around a little bit. Maybe pull this down a little bit. So yeah, I can add pictures. Um, can I get a picture? I'm gonna throw an Epcot picture in there. Epcot ball. See if I can find one. It's an old one. And throw this in there and kind of make it a picture. My students all know I love Disney. Um, again, if I have that highlighted, I can um, go ahead and throw a line around it and I can change it to be any color I want. So if I want a red frame, I can put a red frame around it. I typically like black frames around it, but it's kind of hard to see. So maybe I will do a different color. Maybe I'll do an orange frame. Okay. And around this, maybe I'll do... Um, maybe I'll do an orange frame around that as well. I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger. It just kind of helps frame things. Um, so yeah, that is your image. I can then go up here and I can hit um, download. And I can download it as a PNG, which has a better image, or I can download it as a JPEG. I'm going to choose PNG. It's going to go ahead and download for me. Actually, before I do that, I want to, I want to do, I want to go ahead and label this a pit mo bit moji Google Classroom banner, and that way I know it is um, what it is. I'm going to download it again just so that I have. So all you do is you hit File, Download, and you come over here, and I'm going to do a PNG image, and it's going to go ahead and download here for me. Then I'm going to go over, I'm going to switch my tab over here to my Google Classroom. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upload photo. I'm going to select a photo from my computer. And then I am going to hit resets. should load for me. Uh, <laughs> I might have to search it. It should be in my, maybe it's in my downloads. It should be in my recents, but I don't see it. This is real life, people. Real life. Bitmoji. There it is, right here. 
I'm going to hit open. It's going to go ahead and upload it to the gallery here. And then um, you'll have to resize this so that it fits just like that. Um, if you wanted to crop it, you could. And then you're going to hit class theme. And it's going to go ahead and change it here in just a second. And there's my Google Classroom theme. And yes, Google will make it a little bit darker. They do put like a little um, screen over it. There is nothing you can do about that other than make your image, um, you know, not maybe not so dark of a background when you choose your images, but they are going to look a little bit darker like that. It's just something that Google does. So anyways, if you wanted to see some um, other kind of tutorials that I am going to be doing, um, please hit subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know how I did on this tutorial. Let me know what else you want to see on my YouTube video, and um, have a good day. Thanks.